Welcome to Animate. We're going to look at how to animate in Animate for the uh, project that we're going to be working on. Um, before we start animating, let's take a quick look around what happens when we arrive in Animate. In fact, before we even do that, let's look at what happens if we want to download this from Adobe Creative Cloud. Um, this is my Creative Cloud window and I would go through and look to see if I didn't have Animate, I could then add that as an app. Um, I can see also that I'm up to date, so that's all good. So I've clicked on the Animate app and I get this welcome screen. It's pretty similar to most of Adobe's tools and if you're not familiar with Adobe Creative Cloud apps like Photoshop or Illustrator, they kind of start to look similar. Uh, got similar features like work that I've been working on recently. Um, but all I'm looking for at the moment is this Create New. Um, if I've already got work completed in this I can open those. I've also got some nice options to learn so that's got some nice um, little projects that could get my skills up pretty quickly. So let's hit create new and this new document dialog box immediately comes up. I'm For, this, for the sake of this series of videos I'm going to stick with using uh, the character animation option the HD which means it's a, a 1280 by 720 pixels wide and high and that's just enough space for me to do animation in. Um, I'm also going to, you can pretty much do whatever you like but that's just a good one to start with and that's what I'm using for this series. Um, I can check the width and height over here on the right hand side of the dialog box. I also might change this if it's probably, uh, I think defaults to 30, so I'm gonna change this to 24. Um, it's, it's my preferred frame rate to work from. It means that for every one second, there will be 24 frames. FPS, not first person shooter, frames per second. I also might just double check that the choices I have in terms of the platform are HTML5, I'm not doing that. I'm using the Action Script 3. And I'm gonna hit the button Create. This takes me directly into Animate, and you can see it's a reasonably complex user interface, but actually, if I just break this down for you, there are really four main sections here. We've got the, the tools on the left-hand side. Um, if you click on any of those tools, it'll tell you what it is. Um, and it's that top tool, the selection tool. If I do a heavy sort of click and hold, I get options, so I might need the sub-selection tool or the selection tool. I'm gonna just stick with that at the moment. So for example, when I want to start creating uh, primitive shapes, I might go to the shape tool here, and if I click and hold, I get different options. So that's good to know about. Down the bottom, I've got the um, timeline. The most important part of animation is the timeline. This is where your keyframes will sit. At the moment, there's nothing there. You've got one keyframe, uh, it's empty. Um, if you want to add more keyframes, you can click on insert keyframe. You can onion skin. Onion skinning is really helpful when you've got keyframes. It helps you see through the frames to what you've previously worked on or what you're going to work on. Um, it helps you play and you can loop and also that kind of magic things down the bottom there. So get, get, get used to those. Um, sort of zooming in and out, if I pop to the top of the screen, just above the stage, this is called the stage. If I, if I just take the stage down to about 50%, really important, everything that's on the stage is viewable, everything outside of the stage is not viewable. Easy rookie mistakes to put things outside the stage and then when you export your video, they're not there. It's because they're not on the stage. And then on the right hand side, let's just uh, click select for my stage for example, you've got all the properties. Uh, the libraries and the assets. Libraries we're going to deal with in another video. Properties will take you through as we go all the different videos. So that's really the basics of uh, the interface. As I said, properties and libraries on the right hand side, timeline down the bottom, tools on the left. If you ever lose anything, it's very easy to go to window. Let's just turn our tools off, for example, or our timeline. Let's get it rid of the timeline. You turn up, suddenly everything looks different. Everyone goes into panic mode. Don't panic. Uh, two things to check. Go to window. Um, same on uh, Mac and PC. You can see that the timeline's not checked there or the tools aren't checked. So very easy to get those back. But a really good top tip. My first top tip is um, if you're teaching 30 students on 30 different computers and then the, every... 50 minutes or an hour, everybody comes in, it changes, they might have changed the way, the look and the feel of uh, the interface. A really good tip, 
for all uh, the Adobe Creative Cloud tools is to click on Window and then somewhere you'll find Workspaces. I'm for this series using the Essentials Workspace and you can start by resetting Essentials and what that will do, it'll give you are you sure you want to do it? Yep, I want to reset that. And that just means that everything that I'm doing in this video series will look exactly like what you're looking at if you've reset those essentials. So pretty straightforward. And don't forget normal sort of things about file, uh, new, file save, file export. And again, we'll, we'll cover all of those things in the videos to come. But anyway, good luck with your animation.